the city There are people everywhere The snow is falling white and pretty As I stroll on my way been up since well my kids have been up since like four five <laughs> um Mila's going through some sort of like two year sleep regression is what I'm gonna call it because for the last week I can't even blame it on daylight savings because it's been since before <laughs> um daylight savings just made it worse but she's been waking up like 3 4 a.m last night or not last night the night before 2 a.m and just like wide awake and we put her to bed earlier um her naps have been earlier like i don't know what to do so yeah we've been up for a while i've been physically up since five like out of bed and i got some things done got my dishes dishwasher unloaded beds made and stuff but now it is 709 and I need to get Sophia's hair done so that we can get in the car and out the door. She got herself dressed, so her outfit's a little, I don't know, just her. <laughs> so we're gonna get out the door, get her to school. They're having like a coin drive this week and it's nickel day, so she has her bag of nickels ready <laughs> to go with her. And yeah, I gotta get her hair done, but she's kind of putting up a fight. She's feeding her fish right now. <laughs> This morning, I'm using the white chocolate mocha creamer from Starbucks. I've never had this one. It's pretty good. It's for like the holidays. So I picked up this one and a peppermint one because I've been loving my holiday coffee already. I picked those creamers up at Target last night. We had to run and get a couple of things. And I'll do like a tiny little um, Target haul when we get back from drop off because I have some things that I still haven't put away on the table. And I got like wrapping paper and some more Christmas stuff. But yeah, I'll show you that when we get back. We're home from drop off. We've been home. Getting out of the house this morning was tough. Mila is tired. She still hasn't taken a nap. She took like a five minute nap on the ride home. But um, it's like nine o'clock now. But I want to give you guys this quick little Target haul. Um, there's really not much, but I got some like cute little things for um, like. Christmas stuff for the girls and stuff so I did decorate for Christmas as you guys <laughs> can see or if you follow on Instagram so I didn't do a decorate with me this year I kind of just like decorated at night <laughs> by myself um, just like peacefully and calmly without moving the camera around and things like that but I do want to show you some of my Christmas decor this year I've definitely changed it up usually I'm like the vibrant reds and traditional but I went with more like dark greens and like this kind of theme this year so i'll show you some of my like newer decor i kept it very minimal as well this year so i don't have like things everywhere i mostly just did my living room so i'll show you that but let's get to this haul really quickly from target the first things i saw these um on like the edge like the edges of the aisles where they always have like the really cheap stuff um for the kids so these cups were two dollars a cup which i thought was like so good maybe even a dollar I, I can't remember but they're from wonder shop which is like their christmas target's christmas collection but i just thought these were adorable they look like little milk uh containers but for the kids to use throughout the holiday season as cups and then they had matching plates these plates i think they were three dollars each or maybe two um but they're really heavy duty and thick gauge um even thought they were like glass at first because they made like really heavy noises but they're just plastic and they're pretty heavy duty so i got them each a santa plate and a santa mug I also uh saw these or gauge saw these and for sophia's lunches i always use like cookie cutters to cut out her sandwiches like turkey sandwiches whatever so i do them for the holidays um and these were only a dollar each per cookie cutter so I got a Christmas tree for now. They had like a ton of them and then a little gingerbread man. And I also buy the cookie cutters. They had little Christmas towels and these were only $3. Yeah, each. Um, this is from Threshold. And then we always need 
straws for like my water my green juice the kids like i put them in their yogurts and stuff every once in a while so um we got another reusable straw set this is the room essentials brand and then some wrapping paper so i got a three pack of tape because i am pretty much done christmas shopping um i am definitely done for the girls and i'm gonna start wrapping Soon. Target always has the cutest wrapping paper, but they're never super full. So I tried to find like the really full wrapping paper sets. Um, these are the Wonder Shop ones. This one, it's like little reindeer, gold and black. Gage really liked that one, so we grabbed that. I had this one last year. Um, kind of matches the reindeer, the black, the gold, and then some like distressed looking white again from Wonder Shop. Also both from Wonder Shop. This one's a little less full, like way less full um, around, but I thought it was so cute so I couldn't pass it up. It has like cute little funny Santas on it. And this one I thought was cute too. It's like simple and I thought for like parents and grandparents and stuff it would be good. Um, it just has a wreath and says Merry Christmas. So those are all from Wonder Shop. And that is all that I got. So I can put this stuff away now. But let me give you guys a little mini Christmas living room tour. Again, super simple, but I just love the way my decor turned out this year. So um, as for the couch, I basically just added this cute little pillow um, from Target. It was like 20 bucks. And I loved the colors of it so I literally just added this to our couch and then I also did this isn't necessarily Christmas but this little throw blanket I like that it was like neutral and cozy so I did add that this tree right here we got at um, a little Christmas barn it has like this little wooden bottom my plan was to use it outside but the girls liked it in here so I just shoved it in the corner and it just fills the space this fireplace this year is my favorite we didn't have a fireplace last year um i actually just recently painted this if you remember it was like a dark walnut like kind of brown so i painted the top and the bottom and i think it just looks so much brighter but mainly all of this stuff is from target i will have it linked all below for you guys in case you want to check anything out but this garland is from target last year um the little church houses are from last year as well but you can also get them this year this is a newer piece this little black um like metal tree and then i do have to get a little candle to put in there just to light up the room at night a little bit these three like velvet trees um i got these at target in a set this year i think for like 10 or 15 dollars a white bottle brush tree from target these were from the target dollar spot last year i have a few like throughout my house. The candlestick is thrifted, but the candle itself is from Target this year. The stockings, which I think are like my favorite thing, are all from Target this year. So I have one for Gage, one for me. Ours are kind of like the same and knit. <laughs> my fireplace just turned on because it's starting to get cold in here. Um, this one's Sophia's. It's like a deer like pattern, it looks like. And this one's for Mila like gold and white and knit really pretty and then this one is for baby b <laughs> so i'll be doing his name reveal soon using these stockings but those are our stockings and our little fireplace setup this year i just wanted it to be like a little winter wonderland up here and i think that did the trick our tv stand i kept really simple i just have this vase that's always up there and that i thrifted merry christmas sign from tj maxx last year i think or target um, I've had this garland for years <laughs> since we moved in and I love it. It always goes on my TV stand. This little green deer is from Target last year. It's like a moss green and it's velvet. Um, but I think they have more of them this year in different colors. And then this little sleigh I got at TJ Maxx a couple of years ago. Our little Santa. The kids kind of did this themselves here. <laughs> so I thought it was cute and I just left it. Um, and then our tree... So our tree itself is from Michael's. We got it when we moved into this house and they still sell it and I highly recommend it. I love it. It's a pre-lit tree and it's flocked, but it's so easy to like fluff out. The branches kind of just like fall and you don't have to like do any of the work. So I love this tree and I will link this below because I do highly recommend it. I think I have like a six and a half or seven foot tree. 
we have like eight or nine foot ceilings so as for like the tree skirt i went with like a rounder like rattan wicker one this year so that's from target and then all of the bulbs are from target as well we got a different set this year of like grays and metallics and whites and greens and like some gold so those all came in a set and then i did get some different ones so these are from target they came in a set of like 10 um little gold ones and then i also got some white ones these little fluff balls are from target um and the only thing that's not from target is these little gold things i got these at the dollar tree and i kind of just broke them apart and like added them into the tree to add some glitter and sparkle but i absolutely love it like i love my tree this year i kept this shelf really simple because it's kind of hidden by the tree so just a little truck um, or car that's from TJ Maxx and then my little thrifted candlesticks and some green candles from Target and then last but not least is this little shelf right in the entryway of my living room this tree is from Target last year um, this little gnome was gifted to us another one of those wooden trees um, this little nativity set was from Target this year it was like $10 and I thought it was so cute Sophia absolutely loves it. She thinks it's like a toy. Um, thrifted vase. Um, these little boots are from TJ Maxx years ago. Another Target white bottle brush tree. And then another little thrifted glass. Here's just another little corner of my home. <laughs> this is in my kitchen, obviously. But I did get this mug tree from the Magnolia Home Collection at Target. And I added some Christmas mugs. Gage put that there. That means off. Um, <laughs> this was a candle but now I use it as like a glass decoration I added my little towel that I got and then like I said I got the matching spatula these were only like a dollar or two each so I got the gingerbread one and the candy cane one for mostly display but they're also usable so that's all I kind of really did in my kitchen so yeah that is all of my target decor this year and Christmas decor I know some people think it's a little too early to decorate but I just love like decorating early it just brings me joy and I like to have my decorations out for a month or two rather than just like a few days in December so we did decorate inside and we did some outside we have to finish but that takes a little bit longer so that's why we started that kind of early but made it like a week into November without decorating which is like a record for me <laughs> usually I'm like a November 1st or 2nd kind of person so I think I did pretty good, but I'm really happy and it's minimal and it doesn't feel like too overwhelming so I won't get sick of it too fast. But again, all of it will be linked below in case you guys want to check out any of the decor that I have. I'm having a snack and yes, it's in my kid's bowl, but I love this Power Up, what is it? Power Up High Energy Trail Mix. It has like a lot of good stuff in it, pineapple, walnuts, coconut. And then I added some dark chocolate chips. And me and Mila are going to share. Here, let me give you one. She likes the little fruits in it. The little, what are these, pineapples? Mango? Or papaya, it's papaya. So yeah, we're going to snack on this. It is only 10.20. So I'm like, I don't know, like it feels so much later <laughs> than um, it usually would be since it's like so light and the time change and everything going to get the mail but there's already a package waiting for me outside i'm not sure what this is i'm assuming a christmas gift for someone honestly i should check if it was for me okay it's a gift for gage so we're sitting in my driveway i just got the mail nothing special i got my sister's christmas present in um but i can't show because she watches my videos and then we just got some junk mail but actually i'm not sure if we're even gonna go in the house maybe for a minute but tonight for dinner we are supposed to have mila's opening the window we're supposed to have um grilled cheese and tomato soup i don't have any bread i don't even know if i have tomato soup so i have to run to the store at some point and then eventually obviously I have to go get Sophia so it's still only like 10 48 Mila hasn't napped still I guess that five minute nap this morning was enough for her and I was planning on doing my hair and getting ready but 
um, this is the best it's gonna get today. I actually did get some work done for the brand that I work for, so um, I got some of that out of the way, not a lot. I have a lot of work to do this week, and I have to edit a video that I've been trying to edit for hours, but Mila just will not let me, so. I'm saying call it quits on the work for now. So I'm with my mom. It is 12:30 ish. We have to go get um, Sophia in like an hour, so we have some time to spare. We're gonna run to Dunkin', but I went and I got dinner stuff, <laughs> bread uh, for grilled cheese, cheese and stuff for dinner and tomato soup because obviously I didn't have any of the ingredients that I needed for our dinner plan. So. We're gonna go get Dunkin'. Dunkin' has their holiday drinks out, so we've gotten our Starbucks holiday drinks. I have gotten the Dunkin' Peppermint Mocha, but I wanna get their, I think it's called their Toasted White Chocolate, and I don't know if I want hot or iced. It's really hot out, so I might get iced. Um, so yeah, Mila took a little nap while we were in the store. I just like threw her in the stroller, and we did some like Christmas decorating, shopping, um, Elf on the Shelf shopping, cause that's coming up soon and stuff for dinner. So, Duncan, and then go pick up the kids. I got a toasted white chocolate mocha latte, and I got two Splenda and oat milk in mine, because I like Duncan's oat milk, and then I got a wake up wrap. It has like bacon and cheese in it. And they gave Mila a free donut because <laughs> the wait was really long, so I just got her like a strawberry donut. But she's still asleep, and we're parking and eating because we still have like 20 minutes until the kids we picked up and their school's only like a couple minutes away. Hello everyone, picking up the camera the next day because yesterday got kind of chaotic after I picked Sophia up from school. Just a lot of things going on. <laughs> so um, anyways, we put the girls to bed last night, did our normal routine and it is Wednesday today. I just got a package, a knock on the door and I got some Christmas presents in but also this shelf that we ordered for our kitchen from Amazon. Okay, <laughs> a box and a box, but that's what the shelf looks like. It's um, just like a small shelf and then it has some like hooks or coat racks on it. Um, but we have this space, let me show you, over here in our kitchen. Okay, so we have our living room and then the entryway into our kitchen. And then we have this window, but this wall is empty. And I used to have like a clock on this wall but it just didn't match my style anymore but i had like nowhere to really decorate in here anymore and like i just needed a little bit of extra storage like i have some hooks on that side of my kitchen but they're taken up by coats and stuff since it's like getting cold outside so anyways i wanted something here that i could like hang like oven mitts and things on but also decorate and use as like a decorative space in the kitchen and also use as like storage, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I found this shelf on Amazon and actually Gage ordered it for me. Um, I think it was like 25, 35 bucks. And hopefully it's the right size. It said it was 24 inches, which is like smaller than that space, but I didn't want it to take up the entire space. This is what the shelf looks like. It's like a four inch, top shelf so enough space to put some decorative things and then it's got like um, these little round hooks it's actually pretty cute I think it's gonna be perfect size it's got like that um shiplap detailing let me take it out of the package it's got like the shiplap detailing there so let's see if it's gonna fit <laughs>
think I've pinpointed what's been going on with Mila. Like I said, she hasn't been sleeping. She's been super cranky, which is honestly why I didn't pick up the camera yesterday for the rest of the day. She's barely been struggling with naps, and I think what it is, she woke up from this nap with her cheeks really red, and I think she's getting her two-year molars. She used to teethe really hard, like she would get fevered, and every time she would teethe, she would like throw up, and we took her to the doctor, everything, and she would just teethe really hard, but her cheeks would always get super red and super warm. She doesn't have a fever, but her cheeks are so red and I tried to feel in the back of her mouth but that's kind of hard to do <laughs> with a toddler so I think she's getting her two-year molars like if I'm correct that would explain so much but she has been so cranky and so hard and it's been really hard for me to get work done because I rely on her sleep time and while Sophia's at school to get all of my work done we had a pretty good schedule of her napping for like an hour or two and I would do Mostly all of my work in then, in between then and then when they would go to bed at night. But with her not sleeping at night, I'm exhausted um, by the time I put her down. And she's not napping. Um, she woke up from her nap twice. Hold on. She woke up from this nap twice. And I tried to put her back to sleep twice, which worked. And then she ended up coming back a third time. And I just called it quits. You want to vlog? You say please. Oh, your cheeks. Can you show them your cheeks? Show them your cheeks. They can't see you. Okay, I got some Tylenol into Mila and she's eating lunch right now. And I'm gonna do something that I have never um, done. I never thought that I would do. But I feel like everyone's making sourdough starters and I love sourdough like bread, but you can make so many things with a sourdough starter. So if you don't know what that is, um, I don't really either, but I think it's just like a mixture that you keep on your counter basically and it takes like seven days to like truly make um, and then you can use it in like different recipes like pretzels or sourdough bread, which I see people make a lot and like sourdough pancakes, uh, bagels even. So I looked up a really easy recipe even though I don't know, we'll be, we'll see if I'll be able to do this, but it's flour and water and a glass jar. I'm gonna need a bigger glass jar, but I don't have one. So I'm just using this glass jar for now. Um, and then a tea towel or cheesecloth. I do have that. Actually, I'm just gonna use a glass bowl um, for mixing purposes. And then um, I will link this recipe that I'm using in the description. I just found it on Pinterest. But yeah, the first day is easy. Tomorrow, I discard half the mixture, add one cup of flour and water, and then stir it. And then I keep repeating that process until day seven. Okay. I will keep you updated about the sourdough starter if you'd like me to. I kept it in the bowl until I get a big enough uh, glass for it. Um, but yeah, it seems pretty easy. It's just like a seven day process. So I, yeah, I'll keep you updated on that, but hopefully it turns out good. I'm not like a baker, <laughs> so usually I'm not good at this stuff, but I'm gonna eat lunch um, before I have to go get Sophia here in an hour. And yeah, we don't have a lot going on for the rest of the day. I know this was kind of like a different vlog. Um, usually I don't vlog like for two days, but I don't have really much going on and I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day with Mila, forget about work, forget about all of the other things and try and just like have a good day with her. So thank you guys so much for watching this day in the life vlog. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any more videos from me. We would love to have you stick around on this channel. As always, I film motherhood lifestyle type content with me, my two kids, and my husband. So if you're interested in that, please don't forget to subscribe. And that is gonna be all. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. <laughs>